Good morning. Uh, today is Tuesday, 23rd November 2021. Today I'd like to have a look at prejudice, racism and discrimination generally, as I think this is actually a lot more complicated than we think. Or to use a bad pun, the issue is not as black and white as we think. I can claim to have experienced prejudice and racism firsthand because when I arrived back in England just before my ninth birthday, I was a complete foreigner here. Having lived in Kenya from birth, I had a South African accent. I talked a bit like that, you know. You know how it is when you're a South African, yeah. And I was very brown, as all of my spare time was spent playing outside, as TV hadn't reached Kenya. A lot of the games I played in Kenya were totally different. I mean, I was given this air gun when I was six years old, which would be an unusual present for a child here, but not that unusual in Kenya. We would be in a game park every other week, and the roads that we travelled on were all dirt once we got out of Nairobi. I spoke Swahili fluently, and I understood many African traditions. I'd come from a different world. Going to school in Surrey, I was amazed the kids thought that we lived in mud huts, as they knew that Africans lived in mud huts in Africa. The idea that there were towns and modern houses, blocks of flats, government buildings, hospitals, schools and so on seemed unknown to them. I found even the teachers did not relate to my experience and they used to talk about South Africa and the Zulus to me, as though they had something to do with me. I mean, South Africa is 2,500 miles from Kenya. It would be a bit like talking to somebody in England about Egypt a similar distance. My parents were very adventurous and being teachers we went away three times a year and we went to many remote places that few Europeans ever went. I'd had so many adventures it was like talking about a film to my new classmates most of whom had not been abroad at all. I mean Sp Spain was only just uh, opening up for tourism at this time. I learned I had to stop talking about my adventures as they didn't believe me or thought I was exaggerating or making it up. I was treated as an oddity and even with suspicion. Some bullying took place, but fortunately I was quite resilient to this having been to boarding school already for a year in Kenya. But I found myself very cut off. I gradually learnt the playground games, watched some TV and integrated. I made some good friends, but I do remember that first year, especially the few months, as being very difficult and troubling, as the lack of understanding was remarkable to me. I could only imagine what it would be like for somebody who could not speak English and was wearing different clothes. Over the years, I believe this has been an important part of my understanding of how people work. I realised that people, without knowing it, impose their own values and their limited understanding on other people that are different to them. This is very dangerous as it can lead to stereotyping of whole groups of people as bad, untrustworthy, worthless, uncaring and worse. We only have to think about the, how the Nazis stereotype the Jews as being like rats in World War II to be clear of the dehumanising effect and evil this can lead to. This process of building images of and attitudes towards groups of people takes place at a subconscious level, and I believe this takes place in all of us to some degree. And especially when whole groups start to talk negatively about other groups, the feelings can become strong, leading to angry, fearful, or critical attitudes towards other groups. This leads to prejudice, which means preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. 
Prejudice leads to racism, ageism, genderism, gayism, classism, religionism, and so on. As Christians, we follow Jesus, who teaches us to love God first, and then to love our neighbour as ourselves, regardless of who our neighbour is. This is vital, active work to overcome prejudice. Galatians 3.28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and no female, you are all one in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Loving God, teach us to see through your eyes that all are your creation and are part of your purpose, which are most of the time we don't really understand. We pray for loving hearts that are tolerant, kind and welcoming, even to those we don't understand. Amen. Have a good day.